Hi everyone and welcome to codingjust.com. Guys, in this video, I will show you how you can implement and display native ad, native AdMob ad, and uh, ad in your Android application. So this is the third video of AdMob Android uh, series, and in our previous two video, we configured the AdMob in our the um, our Android project and we implemented the banner ad and the interstitial ad. Okay, so as you can see, I have already created a new activity for native ad and I have already created a button in our main activity. So let's start our tutorial. First of all, we will go to the official documentation as you can see here this is the official documentation of AdMob, google AdMob, and this is the native ads documentation so to load an ad we can use this uh, code snippet and all these uh, you can read this documentation but i will i will show you how you can uh, implement it step by step so if you go to the display an ad and uh, click on the small and medium size ad so uh, as you can see here native ad uh, native ad view class and this is the xml uh, xml file or xml resource file we need for our native uh, ad okay so i will put this uh, uh, github link in the description and i will just simply copy uh, the ad native xml code from here as you can see if i uh, type this code so the video will be uh, very long so i will just simply copy it and you can also copy it from here i will uh, provide this link in the description below okay so I will just simply copy it and I will go back to my project and inside this layout file simply add a click on a right click on new and uh, click on a layout resource file and name it add native or anything you want okay. So I will just simply name it add native and click on ok and uh, simply select this all and paste it here and we got an error so don't worry uh, if i go back to the github file and you know, if i go back to the native ad here and i go back to the ad attribution so here is a style theme okay so simply just simply copy this and go to the values and go to the theme for day and this is the custom style for ad attribution and uh, simply change this name to okay sorry copy this name and add it like this and uh, okay also uh, we need to paste this in the night mode okay if you are implementing dark mode in your android application so simply copy this and paste it here okay and uh, For add attribution, simply go to your strings and uh, let me copy it from here. Add attribution, copy this name and simply type string here and paste that name and simply type add here. Okay, so the error will be gone. Okay, we will go back and I will simply close this. And uh, here, as you can see, this is not the multi repos, this is uh, add more ads. Okay. So as you can see, the error is gone now. So this is the XML file for our uh, native ad and inside this XML file, our native ad will be loaded, okay? So we will uh, close this and uh, I will also close this. And here we need a frame layout for our uh, ad to load. So simply type frame layout and uh, match parent and set this to web content and I will add an ID of frame native add okay and uh, here we will go to the design and we will add the constraint okay so okay simply close this one and give a margin top or we can also make it to the center so simply changes to zero and also changes to zero okay so our ad will be displayed in the center of screen and i will also add some margin from the left right or start end okay so our okay so this is good and now we will close uh, this and inside this activity i will just simply create our method private void load native ad okay 
but first we need to populate the ad and if i go back to the xml and if i go to my github as you can see here we have a native ad.java class here so simply open this and here we have a method okay so this is for that xml file so i will just simply copy it because i if i type this code manually so it will take much time okay so simply paste it here and uh, what we will do we will just simply uh, click alt enter and we will import all these things let me import all these things by entering alt enter okay so we imported all the things and this uh, method is for this xml layout okay and we just have pasted it okay so if i show you here so these are the ids and if i uh, press control and click on this so as you can see it it uh, it navigate us to this uh, xml file okay so i will just simply close it and we will need this populate native ad view so simply i will uh, wrap it here and now we will uh, load our uh, our ad from this method so to add our load uh, first of all we need the test ad id so where we will get the id and uh, it will be here as you can see this is the testing id okay you can use your own ids of your admob uh, account and i will just simply put this id in my string strings okay i will name it admob admob native add id and i will close it and i will paste id here okay so this is our id and uh, first of all we need to create a add loader here so simply type add loader add loader dot builder so add loader dot builder sorry dot builder and name it add builder or anything you want and it will be equal to new add load builder and here we will pass our context so m context or you can pass the activity name with dot this okay so as you can see i uh, implement i i am assigning this to this m context so i am using this here and here we will get the id uh, from the string so simply get resources dot get string and simply pass the string id so simply type add more add more native add id okay so our builder is ready and now we can use this builder below and uh, first of all we will use the add builder for and simply type for native add and uh, simply time new and on native add loaded so first of all we will implement this method when the add is loaded okay so first i will check if is destroyed it means if the add is destroyed or is finishing or is change configuration so this is the valid some validations so it means if the ad is destroyed or if the ad is finishing or the configuration or skin screen configuration changes so we will destroy our native ad so simply type native ad dot destroy and simply type return here okay so that's good and now what we will do uh, first of all let me create a native ad variable here so simply type native ad and i will name it m native ad okay so we can easily differentiate between this native ad and this native ad okay so if i will check if m native ad is not equal to null so it means if the native ad is loaded and displayed so simply we will destroy the native ad so m native ad dot destroy okay and it means that if if we are loading native ad or uh, and the previous ad is loaded and it is not null so we will uh, destroy the previous one to uh, free some memory okay and we will uh, load another new ad, native uh, ad okay for first of all i will just simply uh, assign the native ad to this m native ad okay and here we will create a frame layout frame layout and i will name it uh, add add frame uh, layout 
okay and it, it will be equal to so ndv find view by id or dot id dot frame native add okay so this is our frame layout which uh, we have implemented in this uh, activity xml file here it is okay as you can see frame native add uh, and now below we will add a native add view so native add view and i will name it add view it will be equal to we will cast it to native add view and uh, here we will simply type get get layout inflator and dot inflate and inside this inflator we will pass the layout of add native which we have copied from the github okay and pass the null here okay so this is done and here we will call our method populate native add and we will just simply pass the native add here native add and the add view add view we will pass the add view and here we need to remove the previous uh, views so remove all views and add frame layout sorry add frame layout dot add view or add view and we will pass the add view here okay okay so this is done and now we will add some options for our video add so simply type video options and we will name it video option and it will be equal to new video options dot video options dot builder and set start muted so if you want to uh, start your video add muted so simply uh, pass here true and if you want to uh, start it uh, with sound so simply pass false here and i want to start my video ads with muted so user can manually unmute it the video ad okay so i will just simply pass through here and here we will uh, create native ad options and simply type native ad option and it will be equal to new native ad options dot dot builder dot set video options so simply type the video options here okay so we are good and also we need to pass the build here okay so simply uh, type build and now what we will do we will <coughs> create an add loader here so simply add loader and type add loader add loader you name it add loader and it will be equal to add builder dot with add listener so here we will uh, add the listener for our head so add listener and i will just simply implement the on head field you can implement all these and on add loaded and on add clicked okay so here i will just simply um, make a toast or i will just simply make a toast here if the add failed to load so m context and here uh, i will just simply type add load error error and i will concatenate the error here so simply type plus load add error okay and uh, here i will just simply copy this and i will just simply remove this add error here and i will just simply call it add loaded okay and if i if someone click on add, add so you can implement uh, all the action or performance here okay so i will just simply close this with semicolon and uh, i will just simply type dot simply type dot build okay so this will build our add and simply type add loader dot load add dot load add and here we will implement the add request so new add request dot dot builder dot build okay and now what we will do we will just simply call this method here load native add and let me run the application okay guys so as you can see if i click on this load native add 
so it will open this new activity and as you can see our ad is loaded so this is our native ad and you if you want some changes in this design or in this layout so you can change this from ad native from this xml file okay so that's how you can implement and show or display the native ad in your android application so that's it for this video guys and if you like this video please share this video with your friends and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel and the bell notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming videos